Hey ladies, so I'm back again with my little co-star. And forgive me if she looks kind of crazy, she just woke up, so she may be looking kind of strange. But I wanted to talk to you guys um, about weight loss and how my journey's been going with that. And honestly, I am in week 17. Um, my daughter's 17 weeks old, and so she is a little bit over four months now. And so I have honestly been seeing a huge difference in my body as far as just... Yes, ma'am. Here. Sorry about that. As far as just working out and just trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle. I'll be honest with you, my diet is horrible. Um, that is one of the things that you definitely need to change if you want to start losing weight and seeing results, things like that. Um, my diet is terrible. Um, unfortunately, I work in hospitality and I work late at night. So when I get off of work, there is nothing open but fast food. And so if you haven't eaten all day, unfortunately, you're starving and the only thing to eat is going to be fast food. So that is what I have been eating. Um, greasy, um, just horrible, packed with a lot of salt. That's what I've been eating. Terrible, terrible, terrible for weight loss. But I can say that I have been noticing um, great results. Um, my goal weight, I really don't know what that is. But what I can tell you is I am now under 150 pounds. Um, I think the last time I came on camera, I was like a little over 150 or right at 150. But now I have um, lost in about two weeks, four pounds. So I am at 146. I'm very excited about that. I don't have a goal weight because I don't necessarily want to get down to pre-pregnancy weight, if that makes any sense. Um, I just want to see my body toned. I just want to see myself looking good, feeling good, and that's what I want. So whatever that number is, that's what I'm trying to get to, but I don't have a specific number, unfortunately. Um, basically, what I can tell you is I've been doing a lot more weight training, and I think that's one reason I haven't seen a lot of pounds come off, but I'm okay with that. Um, I actually do a boot camp at 7 in the morning, Monday through Friday. Um, I try to go at least three to four times a week. And I pretty much have been sticking to that since October. And so now I'm really seeing the results. People that are in the class with me are seeing my results. So I'm really, really happy with the success that I've been getting just from doing that. And that's once a day. I do plan on starting um, towards the middle to end of this month and also continuously to work out at the gym um, where I can take my daughter to the little daycare that they have there. Um, I plan on working out twice a day. So I'll continue to do my boot camp in the morning three to four times a day. And then I will also work out at night three times a week um, so that I can kind of make sure that I'm maintaining my weight and everything like that. Um, next things will be just to try to get my diet into some kind of normalcy, but unfortunately, um, right now I can't really figure out how to do that. I know that I need to probably cook, um, and pack my lunch and pack my dinner and things like that so I can take more healthy options, but I just, time is never on my side, so I'm always rushing to get out of here, and when I do, food is the last thing on my mind. I just want to make sure I clock in on time, so... Um, just working with my schedule and just trying to get my daughter together, get myself together, do everything else I need to do um, in my life is very difficult trying to worry about food. That's like the last thing on my mind, but it should be the first. Um, I know another great thing is just drinking a lot of water. I guess working out makes you super thirsty. So once I work out, I need water. I want water. I'm like, I'm so thirsty. Like soda does not quench my thirst. Juice does not quench my thirst. So I definitely have to make sure that I'm drinking all the water that I need and probably a little extra. So that's basically how my journey has been going. Um, another thing is don't get discouraged if you are stepping on the scale and you're not really seeing any pounds come off because if you're working out and you're doing what you're supposed to, you probably are gaining muscle. Like I know for a fact I'm gaining muscle. I'm seeing it in parts of my body that I've never seen it before. So I know that I'm gaining muscle, which is wonderful, but I know that that 
is weigh is weighed heavier than fat. So I know that when I get on that scale, I'm thinking, oh, I should have lost like 11 pounds by now. No, well, I probably only lost five because I've gained muscle and I would prefer to gain muscle than fat. So if it's going to add a couple pounds on the scale, I am okay with that. But I know when I put my clothes on, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. Stuff's not hanging. Nothing's dripping or, you know, whatever. So I'm feeling super, super good about that. And, you know, if you have a goal that you're trying to achieve, you know, stick to it. Get somebody to um, get on the bandwagon with you, work out with you, walk with you, whatever they need to do to kind of get you motivated, do it because it really, really helps. Um, sorry, I'm in the bathroom. So my toilet is running kind of crazy right now. Um, on top of that, also make sure that you are tracking your progress. Write down where your weight started. Um, if you can measure yourself or get someone to measure you, then make sure you're taking all of your measurements, you know, um, chest, abdomen, waist, hips, legs, thighs, all of that. Make sure you're doing measurements because that is how you track your progress. Pounds are not the only way to track progress. So please be mindful of that because you probably have been losing. You just may not have been losing pounds and inches I'm telling you. It's so worth it because I'm losing inches and I know it. I can see it and I can tell. So it's wonderful. Um, the best, best thing um, just happened to me yesterday, actually. Um, me and my husband were about to go out and he was like, oh, why don't you put these jeans on? I'm like, oh, I have worn those jeans since before I was pregnant. And I really don't think they're going to fit because they're skinny jeans and they're actually juniors. And I am not a junior. So um, I was like, I don't think they're going to fit. I was very, very small before I got pregnant. So I was like, you know whatever, I can fit junior's clothes. But now um, I'm not a junior and I wasn't a junior then either. But um, because I'm still working out and trying to lose weight, you know, I was like, I was very skeptical to put those jeans on. So I did. And I'm not going to lie. I had to tug a little bit, but they are fitted and they do have um, spandex in them. So, you know, you kind of got to pull to get them on. So I had to pull them and everything. And you guys, I was able to zip button them up and there was nothing. I mean, nothing hanging, nothing, nothing. So if you follow me on Instagram, I will be posting pictures later on today um, of what I had on yesterday, just so you can see those jeans because you guys, like you don't understand. I was super excited to get those jeans back on and I couldn't believe that they fit. So um, inspiration like that, small things, small steps, that's all you need to be focused on. Um, if you have those pair of jeans that you were trying to squeeze your little butt into, Give it time. I'm telling you, it will work. 17 weeks in and I'm feeling amazing. And I can't believe that I look like this after having a child. Other people can't believe I look like this after having a child. So it can be done and you can do it. So stick to it. And thank you so much for watching.